I was actually planning on making a video about the GH5 today, but then Canon dropped a bombshell. In the midst of all of this social distancing and people doing more video conference calls and stuff, and realizing just how bad the quality of their webcam on the laptop or whatever is, Canon released a software to allow us to use our M50s or really any of the newer Canon mirrorless or DSLR cameras to take our live streaming or video conferencing to the next level. Now interestingly enough, I've been trying to figure out how to live stream with the M50, how to do video conferences with the M50, and I haven't been able to figure it out other than buying like a $400 video capture card. I was even trying to figure out like could I use the Canon utility app and like crop in with OBS on the screen and then use that for Zoom or YouTube Live, but I could not figure out a way of doing it. And then this week, Canon came out with the exact software that all of us have been wanting for the past six weeks. And it's the Canon EOS Web Utility. It basically runs on the same principle as what I talked about in my last video, except that it's not really an app in and of itself. Like if you go into the photos, you can't find an app to actually click on. It's more like a driver, like for a regular webcam. How you get this is you go to Canon's website, you find your model of camera, and then under software and drivers, you wanna look up for software. Click on the operating system here, and then go to Windows 10, and then you'll see the option for the EOS Web Utility Beta. Now this is still a beta version, so they probably still have some kinks that they're trying to iron out, but so far it looks way better than like I was using my phone for Zoom. Now after this is installed, like I said, you're not gonna have a specific app that you go to. You'll open up your video conference app, I'm using Zoom, go to settings, click on video, and you switch it from whatever your camera was to EOS Utility Beta. And then you activate your conference call just like you normally would. Look at the difference. How different does it look? Uh, it goes from good to terrible. Really? It's really that big of a difference? It's Well, it's not terrible, but I can, I can see a noticeable difference. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. So whatever you... Yeah, that looks good. Whatever you're using right now looks really good. The apps to do it on a Mac. For Zoom? Yeah, for Zoom. You got a video on That's... it? I didn't do a video on it. Um, Scott McKenna did a video, so if anyone asks me, I just send them over that way. A couple of notes. One, you will experience a little bit of lag. At least I was, but I do have an older computer and I don't have the fastest internet connection. So I don't know if having a better PC or faster internet would change that. And then the other thing you want to know is just like with all video, you need to have your lighting dialed in. You can't just hook up your DSLR and expect to get amazing quality. Just like you should be doing with what Ever type of video conferencing app or camera you're using, even if you're just using the cheapo webcam that's built into your laptop, you need to figure out lighting. And I'll show you the lighting for this scenario and my video conference call at the end of this video. If you're trying to make it look professional, you need to dial in your lighting. And that's with everything, but especially with the video conference call, it's not going to be as high quality as you would normally have with 4K or 1080p, just because it has to compress the video file to go over that internet stream. Using the M50 as my webcam, of course, and I'm using my light actually bouncing off the wall, which is giving me an even softer light source than I would normally have. And then I have this window, which is giving me the rim light, and then there's nothing actually behind me. I was using the GH5 for this shot to take the video with the 12 to 60 lens set at 12 millimeter. I decided to put the microphone on top of the camera this time. Just, I wanted to see how that would sound. And then for lighting, I set up a whiteboard, just a $1 board that I got from Dollar Tree and bounced my YN303 off of that in order to light my face and then my background again was lit by this window i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a like subscribe to the channel for more content like this and i'll see you all in the next video by the way i'm not sure if it was like wobbling because the gh5 has really good ibis but i was shaking this a lot so i guess i'm really testing the ibis in a scenario that normally you wouldn't think you would need Ibis.